What's up, guys? Luxide here again with another important topic of conversation for you guys. Uh, but first, make sure you go ahead and click that like, subscribe button. That way you'll know when my videos go live, right? That's that's always good. Otherwise, they just sit there and nothing happens. So, so something I want to talk to you guys about today is stable coins, right? <laughs> Everybody thinks, oh, stable coins are, are boring. They they don't even move in price. They're just there, right? Well, you're that's mostly right. Uh, unless they do, that's that's not a good thing. But I found this uh, this article today, right? <clears throat> and what it says is, will USDC dethrone USDT? This report says yes. So, one of the more unsettling events in the stablecoin sector occurred in May when. Terra's UST lost its one-to-one -one dollar peg. If you're not familiar with this, uh, obviously the collapse of, of Terra Luna brought Terra USD, US, D, Terra UST with it. And what people thought was a, a safe asset in a stable coin turned out to be something that got you absolutely wrecked, right? <clears throat> So it completely destroyed Terra's legitimacy, like the article says. Nevertheless, the USDT and the USDC survived the slaughter. So those are the largest two stable coins by market cap. Um, and <clears throat> we'll get into that a little more here. But according to the data released by the Arcane Research, by Arcane Research, USDC market or USDC currently has a market valuation of over $54.8 billion. The preceding 30 days have seen a 1.6% decline, while the USDT has a market cap of more than $65.6 .6 billion. The same time frame, it has decreased by 1.5% as well. Now, looking at these future growth projections, I mean, part of that, part of that drop is just you know, based on what's going on in the market, you know, some people pulling their money out of crypto, right? It's to be expected. But taking a look at this chart here, you can see what the uh, future progression of both coins is is anticipated to look like. So you can see that USDC seems to be on the upward trend, while USDT Tether seems to be on a downward trend. And they're expecting it later this fall, or as early as later this fall the market caps could end up crossing, which would obviously mean that USDC now has a larger market cap. So there may be some reasons that uh, are leading to this. So if we actually scroll a little further down, while Arcane outlines several crucial criteria as to why USDC would surpass Tether, there are still more aspects to take into account. First of all, Tether has drawn criticism for its lack of transparency regarding investments and reserves. Now, if you're not familiar with these stuff going on in uh, the government right now, they are trying to pass a bill on uh, stable coins. And basically what this is going to do is require them require these stablecoin companies that back the uh, the coins, right? There's going to be more regulation on it. They have to uh, basically disclose what their reserves are. They have to basically be more transparent, which is obviously something that USDT, Tether, has already had problems doing. So I even remember, you know, there's times where they've printed a bunch of uh, coins out of thin air with, uh, you know, without disclosing the reserves behind them, which has obviously made people a little little nervous about it, right? So if we take a look at the current market caps on both of them, you'll see they're both pretty much tied to a uh, dollar. You know, you will see that small little variation here and there, but the market cap on both, again, USDT Tether is at 65.8 billion market cap as the at the time that I'm making this video and USDC is at 55 point, basically one, 55.1 billion. So you may be asking, why, why does this even matter? Well, you know, if you look at what happened with uh, Terra USD, right? It's pretty important when you you are cashing out of your crypto or holding it in what's supposed to be a stable coin that that money actually stays stable because a collapse of a stable coin, you know, especially if you've made a bunch of profit or you know you have a bunch of savings and stuff in there. It's not a good thing. You know, losing money in, in really any aspect is is not good. So, you know, what's what's great is that it seems like there are some solutions that have, you know, made it made it through this this turmoil that we've been seeing. 
And, you know, it looks like uh, at least one of them has a bright future coming. Now, again, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but you just need to make sure that you are informed and that you know the facts about what is uh, going on. So again, if you haven't already, again, make sure you like, subscribe the video. That way you'll know again when content goes live. Uh, should have more videos to come still today. But for now, I don't know. I need to come up with uh, with some kind of tagline, something with luck in it. If you got uh, if you got some ideas, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Definitely give you some uh, some credit for it. So hope you guys have an awesome day.